Hi there, Superimpose user, Lynn here, and today I'm going to talk about the classic Superimpose app that you're currently in versus the new Superimpose X app. I'm going to show you what the differences between the two are and why it's worth upgrading to the new app. The original Superimpose is meant as an app to put one photo on top of another. In the new Superimpose X app, you can do that too, of course, but also so much more. It's a full-fledged photo editing studio. One of the biggest differences is how you can work with layers. In Superimpose, you can choose a background and one foreground, so you can only have two layers. In Superimpose X, you can add multiple layers, and you can also manage the different layers by changing the order of them and deleting, duplicating, replacing, or hiding the layer. In Superimpose X, you're also able to work with just a background, unlike in Superimpose where you have to have a background and a foreground. This is useful if you want to edit a single photo or if you want to create a mask out of the background and save it as a PNG file, which you can then use outside the app. The masking tools are the same in both apps, but in the Superimpose X app, there is also a clip up feature. This will cut the layer into the same shape as the layer below it. Another plus is that you get several different distortion tools like 3D transformation and warp, for example. Distortion tools like these are not available in the classic Superimpose app. Brush is also a brand new set of tools. You can paint, add effects, smudge, clone, which is perfect for removing something that you don't want in the photo, and retouch, which lets you edit portraits with several different effective tools. Another new set of features is tools. Here you can add text, vignettes, blur the layer in several different ways, and add gradients, outlines, and other cool effects. And as you're making all of these edits, you can undo and redo any specific change. In the classic Superimpose app, that's not possible. Instead, you need to reset all of the edits and start over. In both apps, you're able to add drop shadows, but in Superimpose X, you can add and edit shadows at any stage of the project, not only while saving or merging, like in the original app. With Light Trap, Superimpose X also makes blending the foreground with the background much easier. It will take the color tones from the background image and apply them to the foreground picture automatically. In the new app, you're also able to view, open, and edit your old sessions. This means that you can start several different projects and then go back to a previous one and continue working on it later. This is not possible in Superimpose. Also, in addition to saving a project as a JPEG or PNG file, you're now also able to export it as a Photoshop file, a PSD. This means that you can open your Superimpose X projects in Photoshop and continue editing them there. And if you don't want to lose your saved masks from the original Superimpose app, then don't worry. You can actually transfer your masks from the Superimpose app to the Superimpose X app so that you can continue using them in the new app. So as you can see, there are quite a lot of differences and these are not even all of them. Superimpose X takes photo editing to a whole new level. It's not only better, but also easier and faster than the original app. If you have any questions about Superimpose X or these new features, then don't hesitate to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.